It's a very Shake the Box style game. All right. I mean, if we're gonna get Skullomania, we want to be Mortaccio. <gasps> Mortaccio! <laughs> you haven't been here that long? You've been a fine addition to the family. Might just be curse as an in-game item. Oh, that's probably what it is. Regardless, we gotta pick it up and we gotta try it. We have an obligation. Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer still doesn't have an evolution, right? Can't remember if Rune Tracer got one yet. Alright, still no evolution. When's it gonna get its evolution? X? Let's upgrade bow. Empty tome we know we get for free, so we never really pick it up early. We obviously want item duplicator. Red needle. Upgrade my whip. Come on. <coughs> Where's this last item? I want to grab it. Hundred percent completion includes the list of items. Uh, yeah, I'll take lightning ring again. Lord knows it's good. How is Total War Warhammer Three? Because that is in Game Pass. If I recall, I think it's in Game Pass. I remember reading it's in Game Pass. Now I don't know if I have saw it in Game Pass or not. It might be on Game Pass, but just for the console or something that I think about. Or it's coming to Game Pass. Regardless, it'd be nice to know if it's good. Now I can choose if I want to check it out. Oh, Tom! Tom, are you here? Draxium! Uh, Spellbinder, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Is Tom still here? I have something to tell him about Game Pass. Very important information. <laughs> Crucial, critical information. Where is it? Where's this new thing? Give it a little bit of time to be patched. Got ya. Yeah, magic block. The information is not that important, but I imagine Tom will be excited about it regardless. That Taiko drum game I was playing in the Discord yesterday has a song from an anime we both enjoy. I was like, oh my god, only got muscles in here? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna drum some muscle. I'm sorely tempted to get the, uh, the Switch release of that game. With the least optimal weapons? Oh, we've done that before. <laughs> the early playthroughs were just, like, experimental for sure. Effort? I don't want to put effort in. Jesus. Let's calm down. Two hearts and a rune tracer? Not my favorite collection of things that you would have given me chest, but... I'll take it regardless. Interesting! When you get the heart upgrade, it doesn't fill your heart. Your health, but just, uh... 
it gives you empty box. I guess it is a hollow heart, so I can't be too surprised. Uh, um. Yeah, Taiko Drum on the uh, the Game Pass has had a lot of good ones on there. Cruel Angel's Thesis was on there. Oh, and I got Muscle. Oh god, can you imagine taking Pentagram? No, I don't want Pentagram. I haven't seen this new thing once. turn-based and real-time strategy games. We don't do them terribly often on stream, though. Spinach. I think I'll take spinach. And I enjoy the Total War games. Oh, tutorial dress. We don't play those. Knowing how to play the game? Jeez. Project Zomboid? I do want to play Project Zomboid. There's a couple of games that I want to do on stream sometime in the not too distant future, but we have like a lot of new releases coming up, so I'm. Um... I'm going to be uh, waiting a while, but Project Zomboid, Kenshi, those are a couple right there that I've been like, yeah, I really want to play these, but the release window right now, we have in five days alone, we have Elden Ring coming out. Elden Ring's going to, that's going to be my life. Like, I'm really excited for Elden Ring. March is going to bring us Triangle Strategy. Ghostwire Tokyo, Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy, the new Kirby game that looks amazing. It's gonna be a wild time. And that's not even including games that have gotten updates that, like, we want to check out. Like, again, there's been a big Caves of Cut update. I love Caves of Cut. Oh, it's just a busy time in video game lands. I realize these are very first world problems, but like, oh my god, there are so many video games that I want to play. Obviously, like, Noid is just a thing I like playing all the time, and I always want to play it. And we're almost, like, 100% with that game. We're so close to just not having anything left to do in Noida. At which point we'll probably just become a series of mod experiences. Like, oh, let's take a look at this mod. Can't you hilarious? Yeah, it is. <gasps> Duplicator! You do come back! Ba -da 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 Are you not a fan of the Total War franchise? Really? You never understood the appeal. Do you not like, uh, strategy games? The appeal for me... And this has been the case with Total War for a long time, is I really enjoy the, uh, everything but the combat. You like base building. That franchise has never really been about base building, of course. Like, uh, my favorite part is sending out assassins and, like, diplomacy and just, like, all the overworld stuff. I would often just click the auto-resolve button when I got into combat. Like, Shogun Total War was my favorite game for, like, a year. Just because I could send out ninja assassins and, like, Slowly accumulate power on the board.
There's a lot of things flying on the screen, yes. A lot of bones bouncing around here. Bone heavy experience. But I do enjoy base building as well. I've always been disappointed that Strongholds never did more of what Stronghold was supposed to do. Like, I just want to play games where it lets me build a castle and then, like, I want to just lord over things to trying to get into my castle. I want more games about just explicitly building and defending a castle. Which it seems like a couple have come out recently that are in early access that I'm hoping evolve into that kind of experience. We went with a bunch of bouncing objects for this playthrough. Like that game Top in the suggestion box? Which one are you talking about? I know he plopped in one that's about building dungeons, not castles. And that's kind of like a Zelda maker we've talked about on stream before, a theoretical Zelda maker. That's what that one's kind of like. You want to be a healer crafter, but not a lot of games get into that kind of thing. It'd be nice if there's like a... A Dungeons and Dragons computer game that went into the Art of Sir experience a little bit more, uh... Heavily. I think that would be fun. Oh, if you want, you can, like, just put your stew away and I can steal it later if I want. Or if you want me to put it away, just send me a text message reminder and I shall put it away for you. I have, uh... I have chicken cutlets that are going to become a chicken cutlet sub for dinner, which is why I didn't zip out to steal stew. Because I have a very delicious plan already. I love chicken cutlet. Subway. Subways. Chicken cutlet subs. I know how to talk, I swear. I know it sounds like I'm brain dead sometimes. This game just destroys me. We're being specific when I start structures. Like, uh, that's a different genre is what I'm trying to say, 421. Like, uh, that dungeon builder is kind of like... You get to design your own Zelda-style dungeon, and then people can play that dungeon. Whereas I want to make, like, ramparts, and crenules, and turrets, and towers, and, like, have little pitches, uh, bo boiling pitch pots that we can pour out. Maybe some traps. That's, like, I started this conversation by saying, like, I always wanted Stronghold to go heavier into that experience, and I always felt Stronghold was a little bit more limited than it should be. But Stronghold's always been the closest we've gotten. Like, Stronghold, I could build a field of, like, oil and have one dude with a, bra a brazier just launch one flaming arrow and set a whole field on fire. But I've always wanted to go a little deeper into the castle building experience. But there are a couple of games in Early Access that look like they are going in that kind of direction. Diplomacy is not an option, it looks like it might be that kind of experience. With a base building element as well, and like, you know, building houses for people to live in. I'm hoping diplomacy is not an option, really, uh, really expands and becomes the kind of thing I hope it does. Hope I hope it does become. Wow, yeah, no, I can't talk today. I didn't sleep that much last night. <laughs> It's definitely impacting my ability to function as a human being today. Uh... Five. Magic one. Let's see here. I got you for lightning ring. We're gonna get book for magic wand. We got you for you. We got you for you. You don't have an evolution. You don't have an evolution. I can't get axe, so that's just sitting there. So it really doesn't matter what I grab. We Everything that can evolve is already ready to evolve. We just want something we want now. Oh, right! We're saving up... Oh, do you think it was a weapon? Was the skull thing a weapon? I just assumed it was a passive based on where it was. 
We haven't seen that other passive yet. We gotta we gotta save for that thing. Reroll. Where is this thing? Is it an evolution maybe? Skull thing is just cursed, but like we have to pick it up, right? We're just looking for it. We haven't seen it yet. Like, I assume it's an item we pick up that increases this stat, much like how Clover increases that, Crown increases that, so on and so forth. But we haven't seen it! As long as it's a passive. I just want to pick it up once so it's in my book, you know? Two more! Alright, that evolved our whip. We got a one of everything else, which is nice. So that's why luck is a nice stat. That's why Clover is not that much of a waste. Let's see if you can get those kind of chests more up. Oh, come on. Give me the one thing I want to see here. I just want this new item so it's part of my book. It's never gonna show up, is it? Come on. I wanna go get the hollow tome, but I can't until I get this last passive that we're looking for. This dumb curse effect. I won't feel complete if I don't have that entry in my stupid book. It's like when you finish a Metroidvania game and there's one piece of the map that's grayed out because you didn't jump once in that one specific area. It just haunts you. It bugs you, you know? Just annoyed by it forever. You know there's nothing there and it doesn't really matter, but it matters to you. That's what not finding this last passive is like. I don't want it. It's not a thing that I actively desire for this run, it's just... I want it to be done. The only things that matter are what matter to you, and like that matters to me. It's just having that kind of uh, completionist entry in a book. Raxon, what's up? Ooh, you think we have to pick it up somewhere? Does anyone here know about this new Skullorama item? And like, if it's a thing we have to pick up at a certain level? Out of curiosity. Because that's all I really want, is to grab it. If I had to guess, I would put it in level 3. Maybe we're just getting unlucky and we haven't seen it yet. I mean, that's always possible. I love how much ricocheting garbage is on the screen right now. Hello there, Chess. Where'd you come from? I don't think anything's ready to level up. I should have left this chest on the floor. Bing. Ah, whatever. We'll just grab things as we see them. No reason to wait out. 
I guess the pool of items that we're gonna see will get smaller as we go. No! Skip. That's what we have to be careful about, though. Being locked out because we only have room for one more passive. No entry on the wiki for it? Oh boy. That's no big deal. If we don't get it this run, we'll get it another time. Yeah, the third level would make sense. I guess we could look around on the third level. The only problem is, like, where? The third level is just an open field that's infinite in every direction. At least the library, like, there is left, there is right. So you're guaranteed, if you pick one direction, you're gonna find the stone mask or the empty tome. Uh, magic wand, magic wand. Is something ready to evolve? No, rune tracer and bone can't evolve. Let's save this chest for a moment. We'll have a thing to evolve soon. <gasps> Skull Maniac! Increases enemy speed, health quantity, and frequency by 10%. There we go, we got it. And now Lightning Ring can upgrade. Get kind of lava out of the pool, magic wands. It happens. Turns out it was just a thing we had to find and we weren't getting lucky before. Bible's ready to evolve. And with that, we're back at 100% completion in this game. This may make the end game very interesting. <laughs> 10% curse. Well, that number's gonna go up significantly. And here we are with a weirdo build for it. It's not the most focused and uh, DPS heavy experience, but it should be enough to keep us going. All the bouncing crap should do enough damage that we'll be okay. Oh ye. Uh, hollow heart, get it out of the pool. Uh, magic wand's almost there. Magic wand's done. You're out of the pool. Oh, I can get my hollow tome. Magic wand would upgrade until we get that. Thankfully, we're ready for our bibble to be evolved. All right, let's go get empty tomes so our magic wand can evolve too. Need that magic wand. Shit, I mean, I need that empty tome. Four magic wands. Come on, where are you? Soon. Where is it? I feel like we should have seen it by now. Spinach. My magic tome, there you are. Sorry, empty tome. Now we go back and get all that sweet experience we left on the floor. Hopefully we get an attract orb soon. Go 
ahead and evolve that once. Everything that can evolve is evolved. We have one more spinach, a few more curse, definitely more tome. What's that? I'm curious what Core is trying to tell me. Dots. <coughs> oh, everyone's doing that. So mysterious. Dot dot dash! Morse code! This could mean anything. Alright, I'm Tomes out of the pool. Now it's just curses from here on out. Increases enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency by 10%. Is there no, like, good thing for me as well? There's no, like, what's the benefit for me? Alright, I guess we're gonna go full on the curse and see what happens. See if we can survive like this. My e -beam. Do you want a bigger EP? That's true, we'll get more experience in the end. Make more content. Seems like they're doing it. Just takes a little time. I mean, this game is really fast. Every, like, three days there's a fucking upgrade, it feels like. Alright, here's our last... curse level. I feel like this is the kind of thing that should be tied into something else. Like, instead of Stone Mask, it should have been this. Like, you get more money at the expense of enemies being more prolific, you know? Those good jammies. A little sixty, so we have maximum projectiles. Oh, we're level seventy, but we're past sixty. Sixties when we hit max projectiles. Rather obtuse. Nerds! We go with opaque, we're no longer in an angle chip. I'm just trying to be transparent with uh, our joke here. Now I built off of uh, the opaque. Comedy professionals, every one of us. Bing. Immaculately nerdy jokes. I 
surprise me. I'll let the game play itself for a second while I do a search for Dome Romantic. Download demo. I should be safe up there. There we go. Demo down. Oh, multitask. Have to pee. Must wait. Nine more minutes before I can pee. The Klein 4, but I guess we're not going that nerdy just yet. There have to be limits! Limits to the nerdiness. I have to pee pretty badly. I drink all this water already. You know, I think I could probably hack it. I could probably level up here. I think I'll survive if I walk away. Alright, BRB. It's gonna be a dangerous thing we're gonna do. Oh. oh god, type better. Say anything? Everything okay? Seems like we're still good. Ah, oh, why can't more games play themselves when I have to go to the bathroom like this? This is great. How considerate. It just handles all of it for me. Ooh, stretch chest. Wedge my desk. Chair partially under my desk. There we go. Multiple treasure chests over here. My God. I'll skip the rest of the animation for that. Stop. If it's not a big chest, I'm just gonna. The big chest songs I can't possibly skip. A little chess? I can skip those. So now that we're using Maximum Curse, I imagine the bitrate is great right now because there's not that many enemies on screen, right? Alright, this is probably great for the bitrate. Hey, 
There you go, Iron Core four runs in a row where we are untouchable in the last 10 minutes of the game. Every run is now an untouchable winning god run. Oh, we got a boss! It's coming right at me! It died. Give me that money. You know, I might as well get Stone Mask for the last five minutes, right? Well, if I walk too fast, I do get hit by enemies. Playing Guilty Gear? Why, you've been playing 3D Fighters? You good at, you good at Tekken still? Virtua Fighter? Soul Calibur? Why are there no new Bloody Wars, goddammit? I want a Bloody Roar game to be made now. Bloody Roar was great. Bring back Bloody Roar. Oh, just three monies, huh? Press that stone mask. Just because. Oh god. Oh god, so many experience points are coming at me. They're all going to my butt. There's not that much room in there. Oh god, I'm gonna level up! Just a good long stream of gems up the butt thing. I love how fast the bones come out of me. The never-ending stream. It'd be fun if they had a character that every possible weapon and item He's in the pool for. That way you could have Mortacho's bones, you could have Yada's uh, cherry bombs. That'd be a fun character. Oh god, it's happening again! How far away was this chest? Jesus, there it is. High speed boning. We're in the last two minutes now. I'm not gonna make it to, uh... The stone mask, I don't think. Nice speed boat. You want to be good. You got you to gotta achieve maximum speed for your boaters. Where are these chests even coming from? I don't see a boss. I just see chests appearing randomly. Just 
just a boring level one gist. <laughs> For the last minute, I'm just gonna kick back and relax. Bring on the fucking never ending wall of boss enemies. There they all are. Yeah. Just gonna chill out and watch the end happen. Just throwing themselves at me. 30 more seconds. Now the bones have so much knockback. And so does the magic wand and the rune tracer. But this is it's a very effective way to keep things not near you. And of course, the bibble. The bibble is always being a great item. Have a good night, Iron Core. Sleep well and thanks for hanging out. Alright, Death, take me. We did it. Now if I go into my collection, everything is revealed. If I go into achievements, everything is gotten. All the characters are unlocked. It's all here. Well, all right, we're back to 100% unlock and completion of Vampire Survivors, which means I can now close the game for a few more days until the next update. Of course, if they update it during Elden Ring's launch window, they're out of goddamn luck. I'll be doing Elden Ring for a few days without any interruptions, I imagine, just because I'm so excited for it. Oh, yeah, uh, itchy, itchy ankle here. Just give it a nice little scratch. <laughs> 